Thank you, John, for giving us that little run through in the roundabout. We appreciate it very much. And we're going to take it to Santiago, where he is investigating biofuel and how it's made. All right, welcome back to Green Team TV. I'm Santiago here with Brennan, who is now taking us into the heart of how the actual biodiesel process works. How are we converting vegetable oil into biodiesel fuel? So, how are we gonna take this pure vegetable oil and turn it into this biodiesel fuel that will run in our diesel vehicles with no conversion? The diesel engine was originally designed to, to run on vegetable oil. Petroleum was cheaper at the turn of the century than vegetable oil was. And so we saw a time when the diesel that we now run our vehicles on emerge. The effort to harness and to harvest large amounts of vegetable oil took a lot of human effort. How we now have to, to change our, our vegetable oil is we need to chemically thin it because the diesel we run our engines on today is basically just thinner than the original vegetable oil. We're going to be using methanol, which is in heat, for example, uh, a dewatering solution that you can find in any auto parts store, and lye, something to clean your drain. Effectively, when we look at the vegetable oil molecule, we see a glycerin molecule and three esters coming off of that glycerin. The glycerin holds the esters together, works, as some would say, as a three-armed octopus. Well, that glycerin is the molecule that's too big and heavy to make it through our injection systems in today's diesel engine. And so what we need to do is pull that glycerin molecule off and replace it with a thinner molecule. We're going to be replacing it with the methanol molecule. To do this, though, in a timely fashion, we need to add a catalyst, something that will uh, force this, this chemical process to happen at a more rapid pace. And that's where we harness our lye. Methanol and lye create methoxide, and when added to vegetable oil, will separate the vegetable oil. And then what we see is glycerin fall to the bottom of the vegetable oil, and biodiesel merge to the top. Biodiesel is now methyl esters. It's the methanol molecule attached to the esters from the vegetable oil. This tank here holds our vegetable oil um, for processing. It's also a separation tank, so the, the worst vegetable oil will fall to the bottom. This is your french fries a week ago. We take the vegetable oil and we pump it into our main processing tank. This design is called an apple seed processor. With this, we fill it to 60 gallons in this particular tank with vegetable oil, and we turn on the heat. We find that biodiesel can be created at a temperature of 120 degrees most efficiently. Most of our components here have been recycled, harvested from junk piles. Okay. It's uh, easily accessible, keeps the costs down. Back to the process. What this tank does is mi mix our methanol and lye together. The, the process of making methoxide is an exothermic reaction, so it's producing heat. And when you feel this, you know that the process is happening because there's warmth coming from it. We now have methoxide. We pump our methoxide into our processor here and blend it all together with the circulation pump. What we get from there is two products. We get our glycerin, which can be seen in the bottom of our sludge tank here, and we get our biodiesel. The glycerin falls to the bottom, so we let gravity take out the glycerin, and we have only biodiesel left. So there you have it. For the most part, it's inconsequential. You're doing an outstanding uh, demonstration towards environmental causes, supporting the ecology, and it makes economic sense. You know, think about it, being able to just pull into your garage, you guys can get your own gas. For so. about 79 cents a gallon currently, from, wow. from start to finish using recycled oil. Again, another demonstration of what it takes to be green on a community level where one person can make a difference. And that's what we're doing here on Green Team TV. I'm Santiago, stay with us. We're coming right back.